y'all. I'm Deborah. Welcome to my channel. This is the update for the Sherlock Holmes Pan Me a Story Watson um, project. This is sponsored on uh, the Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group. I'll have the information linked down below in the description box. And uh, these are all prompts based on the different Sherlock Holmes stories. Uh, 2022 is the 135th anniversary of the first story, um, A Study in Scarlet, being published. So um, makes a good year to be a um, Sherlock Holmes fan. Okay, to start, let me start with the um, Adventures of the Resident Patient. This was, the prompt for this one is something that cost more than it's worth. And for me, that's anything with Charlotte Tilbury's name on it. Um, so I put in the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. And this is in to finish. I don't know if you can see that the bottle itself is empty. I have decanted it into a smaller container mixed with another foundation because this one is too light even for my melanin-free skin. Um, last month, it was at the black mark at the top. Now it is here. I used it, I have used it a total of 57, 62 times since rolling it into this project in May. Um, probably about another four to six weeks, I imagine, and it should be done. Um, I'm not going to hang on to the empty Charlotte Tilbury bottle just to have something empty to display at the end. I'm not, I don't hang on to my empties past going, ooh, it's empty. All right, so the second um, item, product that I want to talk about is The Adventures of the Crooked Man. So this was a story about a soldier who was left behind um, and has come to seek his revenge. Um, so the prompt for that one was something in my collection that was forgotten. And for me, that was this tea tree oil foot repair balm. Um, and it's got a lot of other words on here, too, in the title. But um, it's, a, it's a foot balm. It's fine. Um, I actually used it. I've used it a total of 10 times since I brought it in. I've used it a couple of times this month. Um should be start to pick up now that it's well once it starts cooling off here in South Carolina which should be I don't know it's gonna be a while um, so but that's where I am making progress steady progress but slow progress is still progress so that one is staying in here until it's finished all right the third product is from a study in the, from the Redheaded League, and I brought this one in in May as well. Um, this was for the Redheaded League is a story where a gentleman comes to um, Sherlock Holmes and Mr. Watson because he got this weird job, and um, all of a sudden it was over, and it turned out to be um, they wanted the bottom of his store to dig a tunnel to the bank across the street. So for that one, I brought in this lip gloss from Stila, and the shade is Payday, which Mr. Jabez Wilson was going to Mr. Sherlock Holmes because his payday had stopped. So it was in here to finish, and it is finished. Rolling out, done, finished, rolling out. That means we get to tell a new story. Yay. All right, so the um, the last, I have two more to roll that were uh, introduced um, later on. Study in Scarlet, I rebooted that one because the product that I had for that one was just, I misplaced it. I misplaced it. And so I brought in this, I had a red lip liner originally for that one because it was Scarlet. And so I brought in a different red lip liner. This one is... Laura Mercier um, shade Red Velvet. Um, I'm use, my goal is to use four centimeters, which will get it down to that line. It is a warmer red, and it is 
it looks just straight up orange in the monitor, but it's actually a warmer red, which will be good for the, the winter. Um, I have, it started out at 10 centimeters, no, wrong one, 14.2 centimeters, and now it's 14 centimeters, so I only use this about three times this month, so um, as we move into fall and I'm wearing warmer colors and not wearing so much pink, this one will actually get a fair amount of use. Alright, the fifth product is for the Adventure of the Golden Ponce Nez, and I was bringing in an eye product, and what I brought in was the um, eyeliner in Killer Sapphire. This is by Too Faced Killer Liner series. This is in Killer Sapphire. It is a lovely kind of midnight blue color. I don't think in the monitor you don't see the blue tinge to it, but it is a very beautiful dark blue. My goal is to finish this. It started out at 10 centimeters last month and I have used it um, seven, eight times. It's down to 9.5 centimeters. So good progress on that one. I, I love that liner. It's basically if I powder, put a little powder over it, it stays put and um, actually does last a pretty long time. So that leaves me with one slot for a new story. Um, so, because I got four products, one, roll, one rolled out, that leaves me four. So I've got my Spin the Wheel app. And let's see what comes up with that. Okay, second stain. All right, I'm going to go take a look at that story, look at the prompts, and I'll be back in a minute. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I uh, took a look at the story, a second, The Second Stain. In this story, um, Sherlock Holmes is consulted by the Prime Minister and the European Secretary um, because there has been a letter supposedly imprudently written by an angry potentate from overseas about Britain's colonial um, aspirations. And this letter has been, was entrusted to the European Secretary's care, and he has lost it. He took it home, locked it in the box, and it went missing. And of course, he is beside himself because not only is his career going to be over, but um, there is a chance that there would be war between England, between Great Britain and this other um, other nation based on the angry rant that was in this letter, supposedly. Um, so there is, as, as is uh, common in the later Sherlock Holmes stories, there is also, there are also other adventures and there is also a murder of one of the um, well-known foreign agents in London at the time. Um, as he is stabbed to death in his, in his library, his first floor library. So in, um, as things unravel in this story, it turns out that the letter was not a letter from a foreign potentate at all, but a letter that the European Secretary's wife had written when she was very young and very impressionable and very imprudent. So um, it turns out that she had, that someone had stolen the letter and she had stolen it back. So anyway, long story. Um, for this story, I'm rolling in something you would fight to keep. And for me, that is um, my favorite palette right now is the Modern Renaissance palette. I have several shades in this palette already in different projects. And I'm going to keep this one covered because I don't want it to be a spoiler. Um, but I'm going to, I have Bonfresco, Antique Bronze, and Love Letter all in projects right now. So I'm going to bring in Vermeer. Um, to pan. There's a little bit of a dip there, but I'm actually using these four colors together. So I'm usually using um, Bonfresco in transition zone, 
um, love letter in my crease, darkening up with antique bronze and vermeer for um, inner highlight. So that will actually be a good match, but this is my favorite palette. Um, I have several palettes that I love, but this is one that I just keep coming back to time and time again, so it made sense to pull in a shade from Modern Renaissance. Okay guys, so that is my update for Pan Me A Story Watson. Um, I would encourage you to uh, read the stories if you don't if the prompts don't speak to you and you think of some a different product that would be um, that you feel more rep better represents the story, use it. Um, make this your own. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.